Hi, thanks so much for joining us. My name is Shannon from Strategic Intervention Solutions. You can join us on our website at sis4teachers.org. We have the grand finale here of a bump game that's going to be really fun called Bump Unlimited. If you've seen our other bump games on our website or our YouTube channel, a lot of times our students like to work on the bump times 10 as they go into the bump times 100 so they can kind of see what's happening when they're multiplying numbers and what's really happening to the digits as you're multiplying them. We're going to check out this game with bump times 100. My partner and I both have 10 clear counters of a different color. My partner has 10 blue, I have 10 red. In this game we're going to use a regular set of two-sided dice. If you ever roll doubles during your turn you get to go again. This game provides lots of options for students to kind of be sneaky and win. This game video is really great to be played in your classroom for everyone to learn how to play the bump times 100 in your curriculum it also is great at home, or students can even learn how to watch the video on their own in a group and play the game out with writing out the rules. I'm going to go ahead and kick off the game by rolling the dice, and I have a sum. When I add my 4 plus 1 together, it is 5. I'm going to take my 5 and times it by 100. That's going to be 500. So option one in level one would just be to put it on 500. When we were playing level two, we were able to decompose this and do four times 100, which is 400, and one times 100, which is 100. I still got to my product of 500, but in the case of bump two, I was able to get rid of more counters. I'm trying to think of a way in bump unlimited that I might be able to get rid of more counters than just two. I'm trying to figure out how I can use the board to come up with the total of 500. I think I'm gonna do one on 300, and I'm going to put two on 100. When I do this, I'm crowning the 200 and I'm, or 100, and I'm unbumpable. If my partner needs to use the 100 or myself, we cannot use it for the rest of the game. But in that turn with Bump Unlimited, I was able to get rid of more counters. Now it's my partner's turn. They're gonna go ahead and roll. Four plus two is six. Six times 100 is 600. So let's go slow here. My partner can either put it on 600. Of course, there's the two add-ins displayed, which is 400 plus 200, right? Because four times 100 is 400, and two times um, 100 is 200. But my partner might be more strategic to kind of look to see what else they could do to get that 600. They might decide to think 600 could be, ooh, they're deciding to bump me and do 300 plus another 300 because they know that this 100 is blocked. I think for a minute he was thinking he could do the 300, the 200, and the 100, which then would allow for him to be able to have the total product of 600, but in this case, it's blocked. And so he was able to get rid of two counters, crown it, own it, and bump me. It's my turn now. Ooh, I got doubles. Three and three is six. Six times 100 is 600. I no longer can do 300 plus 300 because it's full. I could get 600 by doing 400 plus 200. If I wanted to do 500 plus 100, that's not an option because it's already taken. So I want to get rid of the two counters instead of just the one. My total product was 600. 400 plus 200 totals my product of 600. I got double, so I get to go again. Five plus three is eight. Eight times 100 is 800. One option would be able to be my 800. I might want to do, oh, 7 plus 100, that's not an option. How about the 600 plus the 200? That could work as an option. Uh, let's see, I could, I can't do the 400 plus the 400, which would equal 800, because I already have one on there, so that's not going to be an option. I think what I'm going to do to get my 8 is put 1 on 600, and I'm going to crown that 200 so I own it and it becomes unbumpable. It's now my partner's turn to roll. My partner ended up getting 5 plus 4. 
five plus four is 900. That option again is to put it on the total product, which is 900, or he might want to think strategically about other ways that he could get to the product based on the spaces that are available. We have a 500 plus a 400, which would be a great move. He could get rid of two counters and he could bump me. If he wanted to do other options, I wonder how he might go about that. Just gonna get rid of the one counter of the 900, and that's possible they might want to do that. I'm gonna go ahead, I have six plus three, it equals nine, nine times 100 is 900. So I could put one on 900 and bump my pal off. I could also think about different ways that I could make 900. I'm gonna do 500 plus 400. 500 plus 400, equals 900. So it's still gonna total the product that I came up with, but I've crowned myself and my partner, I put um, the 500 here and one on the 400, so I only have two counters left. In this game, we would continue play until one of us ends up with counters. Don't get tricked because he has a lot of counters because he might be able to bump me off of different numbers, especially because I have some single ones here. In the end, whoever has crowned the winner and the bump unlimited kind of has a strategic advantage. You can always replay this game over and over again to kind of see who the bump times 100 champion is. We hope that you've had a great time playing bump times 100 and you're able to use it in your classroom or home. Make sure to check us out on our website at sis4teachers.org.